Fatigue properties of welded details are commonly determined on small scale specimens, which can efficiently be tested. The test consists in applying a cyclic load. Eventually, a microscopic crack will initiate. The crack will then grow and propagate through the specimen. The test is run until the specimen fails. The result of the test is the number of load cycles until failure for the applied load level. This final failure is usually quite obvious, but how can the crack initiation be determined? An experimental approach using digital image correlation is presented in the following. The specimens used in the following tests contain a multilayer butt weld between a 10mm and a 25mm plate. The specimens are made of structural steel S355. Under fatigue loading, cracks are expected to form at the weld toe on the 10mm plate. For the digital image correlation, a speckle pattern is applied on the specimen surface. After the weld and the surrounding area have been cleaned of any dirt or oil, the pattern is applied using spray paint. The speckles are obtained by alternating layers of white and black paint. The nozzle is held at some distance from the specimen, so that the spray forms fine speckles and not a closed layer of paint. The speckles should be as fine as possible, in the magnitude of 0.1 mm. The tests are run on a 200 kN resonance testing machine. In this setup, the cameras for the digital image correlation are placed above the specimen. It is crucial to properly set the focus and aperture of the camera lenses. To allow for short exposure times, sufficient illumination has to be provided. Four LED lights were positioned close to the specimen. In order to reduce reflections, polarization filters were applied on the lights and cameras. The tests are run at a loading frequency of 34 Hz resulting in a period of about 29 milliseconds for each.